Hi, I'm Mike Sindoma, Certified Athletic Trainer and President of Sports Medicine Concepts. I'm here today with Zenith to discuss emergency face mask and helmet removal using the Zenith X1 football helmet. When I come out onto the field after an injured player, my primary concern is for the athlete's airway, breathing, circulation, and to provide for inline stabilization of the cervical spine. We begin this process by stabilizing the head and neck and then asking a series of questions to assess the athlete's given situation. Peter, what's going on, boy? I hit helmet to helmet, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Okay, do you have any pain in the back of your neck? Yes. On a scale of zero being no pain, 10 being excruciating, where are you on there? Uh, an eight. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna call Tony out. We're gonna take a couple of precautionary steps here. If we decide that it's necessary to remove the face mask to gain access to the injured athlete's airway, we do so by using a power screwdriver to unscrew the hardware from the face mask clips. Okay, Peter, what we're going to do, we're going to take those screws out on the face mask and get that face mask off. The X1 is equipped with T-nut blockers that hold each T-nut in place so they don't spin during removal of the screws. When the hardware is unscrewed from each one of the face mask clips, we remove the face mask from the X1 football helmet. If attempts to remove the face mask using a power screwdriver are unsuccessful, we use the FM extractor to cut the face mask clips from the face mask and remove the face mask from the football helmet. Stay as still as you can and listen to us and we'll get you home safe. We begin by removing the mouth guard and cutting the chin straps, which will not result in further movement of the head, and then removing the chin cup. We then gently remove the helmet from the athlete. On three, I'm going to pull the helmet. One, two, three. Okay, we're about to come off. Following removal of the helmet, we pack and fill all voids to maintain inline stabilization. I got them on three, one, two, three. With the face mask and chin cup removed, the helmet sides will likely have enough flexibility to remove the helmet without needing to remove the jaw shock absorbers. However, the jaw shock absorbers may be removed by cutting the bonnet area that holds the shock absorber, pulling off the jaw guide, and then cutting the shock absorber cable guides. The shock absorber can then be pulled straight out. For more information about emergency management protocols, visit sportsmedicineconcepts.com. For more information about the Zenith X1 football helmet, visit zenith.com.